Hi everyone, it's Bridget. Welcome back. I was having some fun today uh, cutting out some hearts. I cut up, out a bunch of hearts with my Cricut Maker. You can cut them by hand. A heart is so simple, as simple as it gets. So, but I have a Cricut, so I am using it. So I cut out a bunch of different sizes and I wanted to make some pins. And I came up with a process. I might tweak it along the way because I do want to sell these at the farmer's market. I think they're adorable. I think, you know, they're really cute, like on a jean jacket and their hearts, which we all need a lot more of these days. So this is my process that I came up with. Obviously the, the hearts are stacked. Um, I think I'm going to glue these. It, originally, I ended up uh, using the PLF 36 fusible interfacing because a lot of these fabrics, like this is Liberty of London, this is a lightweight cotton. They're all lightweight cottons except for the denim. So I ended up wanting to fuse it so it wasn't gonna move around on me. And I did sew this one, but I'm not sure. I like sewing the outside. I'm not sure I'm going to sew the interior. So I think I'm gonna end up gluing these together, the tops, and then I'll sew the base. And I, I have a process that I came up with to do the pin back so that it has a base to be on so that it is easy to get on and off. I mean, of course, once you probably put your pin on, you're gonna kind of keep it on probably, I would. So I have a couple of different things I just wanna show you quickly. I made my templates for the base. So the back, the front and the back, it's a three inch base. Thought that was a nice size for a pin. And then I have here some Decoville Light, which is a product I use in my bag making. It's very handy. It's kind of leathery like, and it's supple. And I'm gonna use that as the glue and it does get a little harder once you heat it. So I'm making that, I'm gonna cut these out. And then I have a little bit of the Peltec 70, which I showed in one of my other videos. And I'll mark the all of the supplies that I use. There are three supplies that I use. There's the Peltex, the Deco Light, and this fusible interfacing to stabilize. So, I'll show you how I do that. And I am going to, in this case, I am going to use some Fabric Fusion, some Aileen's Fabric Fusion on these. Because as I said, I my machine was kind of acting up. I don't know why, but I wanted to blanket stitch, but I almost think it's too busy. And so I'll blanket stitch them together after they're done. And let me cut all this out along with the bases and I will come back and we will put the little bases together and I'll show you how I do the pin back so that it's nice and stable. I've cut all my pieces out. These are the, going to be the backs. And I think I'm going to pair down to three uh, so that um, you don't have to uh, watch me do all of these. Uh, I'm not sure how entertaining that would be. Um, so I'm going to pick three of them. Oh boy, how am I going to decide? Um, I think I'm going to do these three. So I'm going to take these and set them aside. And so I have my pieces of Peltec 70. So I need three of those. Put those aside. And then I'm gonna need three of my Decoville Light 525. So these are all gonna need a back. So that's one, one back, two backs, three backs. So I have those. So what I wanna show you here, these are my pins that I'm gonna add. 
So what I want to show you, I'm going to, I have my iron, my little iron heating up. So basically, this is the first one. So what I'm doing is, I know this doesn't necessarily need to be a heart for stabilizer, but it was, I, I just thought it would be fun. So I just did the heart. And this is, this is how I'm stabilizing the pin back. Okay, so I'm taking the stiffener, which is the Peltec 70, which is quite stiff. And then I'm taking this, which has a glue backing to it, so that I am taking that, and that is gonna, it's bigger, it's larger than this other heart, and it's going to adhere onto there. I will show you. So I'm just gonna take a, I've got it centered pretty well. I find that these are pretty forgiving. So there we go. Double check here. Okay. And now I'm just going to hold it and get it glued down. This will probably take a minute. Let's see how this first one goes and I'll probably speed it up so that, let's see how that goes, hold on. Yes, as you can see, so, and I can sew through this, no problem. I sew through it all the time with my bags. And that's gonna be my stiffener. So I will go ahead and get these other ones glued on, and I'll be back to show you how I put the pin in. So I went ahead and took these and just got them ready so you could see them. So I took my pin, so I've got my pieces, and I'm, those are my marks for my pins. So basically all I did was I came over here and so strategically, <laughs> um, I just made a little mark. Okay, so there's one there, and there's one. I mean, it's the back of the the pin, so I don't know if it's necessary to, I get kind of crazy on how uh, I, I build things up here, but I wanted it to be stable, and I didn't want to just glue another piece of felt on the back. I don't know. I, uh, this is what I came up with. So I have a hole punch, um, a fabric punch, I have a little wonder, it's from Weaver Leather. Uh, I'll show you that another time. So, and then, um, so basically I, I made the marks, went over and punched them. And then I do need to make a little bit of a extra, extra uh, room in here I found. So I'm just gonna snip this a little bit and then I'm gonna open up my pin back and I'm going to insert it. There's that side. And then there's that side. I mean, it's kind of tight, but I want it to be tight. So, I mean, I'm just working it in there. It might need to have a little more Yeah, it's gonna need a little more, but that's okay. If you have a bigger punch, that will. And that Decoville light and that will stop this from going anywhere. It's it's good stuff. So again, I'm, I'm just gonna come in here and try to get this positioned in here. There we go, that's in there. And then, of course, on camera, it's way more fiddly. Okay, so there's that. Okay, so then I'm gonna close it. And that is on there. But what I'm gonna do just for extra fun, so that's the pin back, it's in there. 
It's good. So now I'm just going to get some glue out, the, uh, the Aileen's, and I'm just going to give that a little bit of a glue down because why not? Can do. All right, I'm just going to give that some and just have that. And there we go. So I'm going to let that dry. And I'll put that to the side. And now I'm going to take my little pieces and, oh, I don't feel like I need a ton. I'm just gonna smooth it around with my finger. So in hindsight, uh, I, I could use, uh, originally I, I said I was planning on sewing these. So there's that. I'm gonna grab a wet one because they're always handy to have. Keep my fingers clean. And um, so I was going to originally um, sew these, as I said. So I am not doing that at this time. So what I'm trying to say is that I could have used heat and bond light and that would have been just fine as well. But I'm okay with this. These are fun. They're just cute little pins. I'm not gonna, as I said, these are all things that I wanna do to try and have fun and to see how cute they are. I can always stitch this at a later, well, I guess I, yeah, I, no, I can't, I, I wouldn't be able. So already the glue is coming through. I'm not sure how that's gonna look. It might not be good on the uh, lighter colors. Let's do another one on the darker and see how that goes. So I'm gonna, again, you know, just do my glue and I'm not sure how that's going to dry, but this is all, it's, it's all experimenting and having fun and it's fabric. You can always buy more <laughs> and do another project. So I got that down there. And I, I'm going to make another batch of these I'll share, uh, when I do. Because this is, this is a new method I came up with. But I really, I love pens. And I think they're a great gift to give to somebody. Okay, so there's that one. Again, I'm not sure what it's going to look like when it dries, but we'll see. So it's all good. And I'll get this last one done too. And I'm going to take uh, some time off camera here and finish up my uh, pin backs for the other, the other pins. We'll just do three today on camera. So that's there. I mean, that's, I, I really like, the, I think this process I'm happy with for sure. So, um, what am I doing? Sorry, <laughs> getting ahead of myself. Alrighty, okay. Yeah, I think I probably would use the um, heat and bond light if I'm not going to sew. And that way I could just press this, it would all be pressed and I wouldn't have to worry about the glue coming through because I'm not sure if that's gonna dry right there. I'm not sure if that's gonna dry clear or not. We will find out. All right, so I will finish up the pin backs and then we'll head to the sewing machine. So I put my stitch on blanket stitch. I am going to try blanket again. I'm going to trim this over here. Actually, it was nice because I put the, the Aileen's, the glue that was in there helped kind of put this together. So the back's there. I'm good with that. But I am going to sew it this way because... I don't want to deal with this pin being right at the machine. So it's already going to be a little finagly. So I'm going to put my, let's see how this goes. So I'm going to put my, I'm 
All right, we're sewing along. I'm trying to stay close to the edge. I guess I could have used a, if I used a smaller pin back, it might have helped the situation a little bit, but that's okay, I'm learning. I don't know why my blanket stitch seems to not be blanketing, but that's a whole nother story. But I like it. I like it. It's it's pretty. It's cute. And I'll perfect it. It's getting a little shabby here. I don't know. I'm just going to let that go because I think that's kind of the fun part of having it kind of frayed on the edges. So that's that one. I'm going to finish up these other two. I am going to change my thread. So I'll do those and we will do the takeaway after I finish stitching these. So I'm happy with how these came out. They're really cute. The, um, the glue is not my fave. That's okay because I wanted to try it. And come to find out, which is funny, and why I am happy to share my mistakes with all of you. Um, I had my sewing machine uh, presser foot on, uh, the presser foot was saying it was the free motion foot and not the uh, regular presser foot for, you know, zigzag and straight stitch. So I, the, it, the machine thought I was somehow still doing free motion embroidery. That's all good. I'm glad I figured it out. I'll know for future ref and um, I'm happy. I'm happy for it. So, but I, I still, so I, I, I went back once I did that. I don't know if, uh, let's see if we can get, I'm not sure you can see that. So I, I do like the, the stitching better. So I just went ahead and did the stitching around and I'll put these together um, you know, at a later date. I have a couple other projects I want to do with the hearts. That's why I cut so many. I want to make some cards and I have a couple other fun little ideas. Thanks so much for joining me. I would love it if you would subscribe and then you can join me for those other projects and more projects in the future. And until then, keep creating. Bye.